I'm Peter Brown and uh, I'm a beef farmer in southwest Gippsland. We can't be farmers without water. Um, we need it for our stock to drink, we need it for ourselves, but the major importance of water to us is water that comes from the sky and produces pasture. The desalination plant is about 17 kilometres from our farm. The pipeline runs through our property which has required a 40 metre wide easement to be carved through the property. The way the government's handled it has been rather clumsy and the whole idea is energy hungry and unnecessary. A lot of older people farm nowadays. The young go into the city and the older left to handle the farms. So we're older people putting up with pretty much a younger person's problem. My name's Peter Coombs. I work in water sustainability and water policy. The water policy is still dominated by a big infrastructure agenda. And unfortunately that costs the individual um, in the long run uh, a great deal. With the desalination plan, the concern is that it's a massive investment, an unknown expense, that regardless of whether we take any water from it or not, we have to guarantee something like $600 million payment to a private consortium. We've got a huge resource of water that's available locally in Melbourne uh, that we're still not using. Stormwater runoff, rainfall runoff and sewage discharges from Melbourne are twice that of Melbourne's water demand and we don't use that. Our first thinking should be local solutions to ensure that Melbourne transforms into a sustainable, a water sensitive city, uh, rather than just relying on large external infrastructure upgrades. My name's Sarah Rees, I'm a forest campaigner in the central highlands of Victoria. Around 69% of water flowing out of our catchments is subjected to logging. Undisturbed old growth forest produces the best quality water and produces the most water. What happens when you cut that old growth forest and then you have a new young forest growing up is you have those trees that have to grow to those enormous heights of 120 metres, sucking up all that water that would otherwise flow into streams. So you're essentially setting your forests back to a very thirsty young stage. We are supplying the largest pocket of Victoria's population, that is Melbourne, with water supply that is being cut and destroyed and for wood chip that is not bringing a financial gain to Melburnians. So it's not a fair return, not financially, and certainly most people wouldn't want to compromise their drinking water for paper. And that is essentially what the government is doing right now. And that is where the changes need to take place. They need to be bigger than the marginal seat politicking which is taking place, and they need to take control of our water supplies. The Greens know that Victoria needs sustainable solutions to address our changing water needs in the future. Our focus is on practical measures like water efficiency in the home and across our supply system, rainwater and stormwater capture for our use and to improve the health of our rivers, and ceasing logging in the water catchment areas. To find out more, please visit vic.greens.org.au.